stage four here at Tour of the Gila, New Mexico. It's a crit and boy do crits at altitude hurt like nothing else. Today, a bit of a late start, we're gonna introduce you to some of the incredible people here at Mobius Bridge Lane. Um, really, a lot of our staff and riders all combine work with the sport. And I think that acts as a really good example for the work ethic that we expect from our athletes and from our personnel. And it really drives the whole team forward. So. Astrid Van Uden, she does the job of three people for one. Scott is, you know, he balances his full-time work, two kids, and he's still a really excellent assistant. And we've got guys like Alexander Evans, who's been the talk of the town this week with his climbing form. He balances a full-time job at a bike shop in uh, Bendigo. So yeah, we've got an incredibly uh, good work ethic here at this team, and I think it helps separate us from uh, some of the other teams. It's one your means to care for, and while the mechanics look after the bikes, I look after the riders bodies and that's um, everything from nutrition to post-race massage so I'm usually the first one awake every day and I'm definitely the last one to go to bed at night. What do you bring to the team Scott? Um, a lot of naps, I've been like napping a lot but basically I pump up tyres, I'm a bit of a gopher at the races, whatever needs to be done. Back seat in the team car, trying to survive. Tom's driving. We just strategic talk there sometimes. Meals, um, and that's pretty much it. Just gonna check if this rice is ready. Now, I read something in a book once about how you check and what you actually do. You get a bit of rice and throw it up onto the roof. If it sticks. It's ready. You can see that one's ready. These ones down here on the floor, they're not ready yet. So we're going to give it a bit more. Today's crit is a bit like riding a swing. There'll be ups and downs, you'll be moving forward and then all of a sudden you'll be moving backwards. Last year what I learned from the crit, really through sheer necessity, is there were places to move forward and places not to. What we'll be telling the boys is to really take um, the back straight into the final corner, into the finish straight. You can go down the hill and take a lot of places on brakes, which is a lot easier than moving out in the wind and trying to do it up in the finish straight. So that's where we'll be trying to move forward. Elsewhere we'll be trying to conserve and just pump over the climb and get a few more places there. That's the plan. Thirty laps in, Dylan Newbury was right up the front. Ethan being aggressive, Brad well positioned. Unfortunately, Dylan had a puncture. Quick change, and uh, back underway. Um, hopefully, get through the last ten laps without any uh, mishaps, and uh, protect Alex and ready to fight for tomorrow. Here he's positioning himself now. Brad Evans, the, he's the guy that's the heel monster, blue tongue lizard, and he picked up that last hundred dollar cream. And let's see if they're gonna keep this one rolling now. Picking up the front of the bike race here. And another three rider move going clear. That's Johnny Clark, another Australian. This time on the United Healthcare team. As he's applying the pressure at.
I'm from Castle Main, Castle Central Main. Victoria. Oh. Yeah, near Bendigo. Your Bendigo is an answer to Michael Matthews. Oh, yeah, but just not as good. No. Yeah, like seriously not yeah. as good, but I'd, that's, I'll take that. Yeah, that's pretty good. You have the advantage being not being a US team because, yeah. you know, people don't know how strong all the guys are. I was telling the guys, like, in uh, Joe Martin, I'm like, oh, watch out for these boys. Like, they're going good. And then, you know, like, no one else knows you. So here, everyone tends to, I suppose it's a bit like back at home, everyone sort of marks out each other a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of yeah, young sure. guys trying to, uh, you know, make the step and try and find careers for them in pro cycling. Like, you've obviously, you've gone with Drapak and then you're now here with UHC. Like, you know, is there any advice to Aussies back home that you give? Um, I think, I just think it's really encouraging to see, you know, yourselves, Mobius over here racing in the States because I think a lot of Aussies really focus on Europe as a stepping stone, but the US has some good racing, some good big teams, and, you know, everyone thinks, oh, you know, I've got to be in Europe, but the lifestyle is great, um, the racing is great, and, you know, you can still get noticed by bigger teams, so I, I, I really recommend the States as a place to come. Coming here, you can get, yeah, really tough racing, but you can also be a part of the race. Like, you boys are, like, you know, lighting it up and in the race, which is so much more encouraging for younger guys, because you go to Europe and get your head kicked in and you kind of lose mm. lose that sort of hope. So, yeah, I, I recommend it, but um, it's not for everyone, so... Stay, stay tuned for tomorrow, because we're going we're gonna to have a go. All right, well, so Thanks are we. So, much, so we'll see have you up the road. <laughs>